I've got this great story. It's gonna knock Mr. Morton right in his adverbs. An aircraft tore itself to pieces over a building. Part of the plane smashed through a window. Like it? Well, yes, Henry, but what about the nouns? What kind of airplane? What building? Henry! Oh, Mr. Morton, I've got that piece in the plane crash. Better fasten your seatbelt before you get to those turbulent verbs. Oh, try and hold tight, Henry. An aircraft tore itself to pieces over a building. What is this, a quiz show? Are we to guess what kind of aircraft, what specific building? You've got to write, Henry, so that the reader can visualize the scene. Use concrete nouns, specific words. Look at this, what, what kind of aircraft? A C-42 jet fighter. And the building? A, a museum. All right, what else have you got here? A piece of the shattered plane smashed into an Egyptian antique. What piece? Uh, the tail. And the Egyptian antique was a... Uh -huh, mummy. Well, don't call it an Egyptian antique. With a mummy, put some life into it. Finish this story and use concrete, specific nouns. Choose your words with the care of a brain surgeon. Where is Dr. Kent? He's so brilliant, Dr. Morton. Everybody wants him. Dr. Kent, thank God you're here. We're stymied about this case. Who's this? A patient. Try and be more specific, Dr. Morton. It's E.P. Mailer, the rich and powerful newspaper tycoon. That's better. Now, what's the matter with him? Well, we think it's softening of the sentence structure. Here are the x-rays. A rolling object gathers no green matter. Aha! A clear case of non-specific nonism. He'll need a bypass. You'll have to work quickly to replace his concrete, his non-specific nouns with concrete name words. Three minutes. Oh, but doctor, the risk, I mean this operation. There's no choice. It's his non-specific nouns that are causing the deterioration of the sentence. All right. Nurse, prepare the machine. What machine, doctor? Oh, you know. The syntax synthesizer, nurse. Now get me those things. Things? Wake up, Dr. Wharton. You can't be so vague. A man's life is at stake. Well, you know what I mean, those little things we use. Instruments? That's it. The substantive separator, nurse. Now, where do you think the trouble is, Dr. Morton? In uh, the body. Where in the body? Oh, Dr. Kent, I'm worried. The thought of operating on a non-specific noun. I once lost a patient. Dr. Kent, will you? I will. How much time, nurse? One minute and 15 seconds. I'll have to go in just to the right of the left adjective. There. Let's see what he has. Aha. Oh. Uh -huh. All right. Now for the bypass. Scissors. Roll. Magic marker. Sticky tape. Now, will you assist me, nurse? Yes, doctor. I'll cut here. And here. To remove the vague and the abstract. Then I insert the specific. Ten seconds. Punctuator, nurse. I'll tie it off for the period. Ah, what? Close them up, Morton. All right. Nurse, needle. <clears throat> Thimble. Oh, Dr. Kent, you saved the brilliant and famous newspaper tycoon, E.P. Mailer. Oh, nurse, I love your specific nouns. <laughs> Dr. Kent, you have saved the reputation of this institution. No, no, Dr. Morton, not institution, hospital. You're using the general term again. Be specific. Oh. Henry. Hmm? I'm starving. Are you ready for some food? Oh, not food. Chicken soup, tomato sandwich, and strawberry ice cream. I see. The specific, not the general, huh? I think he's got it. Thank mm -hmm. you.